Hey, my YNR fans, we got to talk about what happened in today's episode. Abby is on the warpath against Tucker. Devon tries to set a trap to trick Tucker, and Audra tells Lily, trust no one. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless, and the bold and the beautiful. This is your young and the restless recap for October 24th. And without any other further ado, let's unpack this drama. So, we start off over at Chancellor Winters. Now, Devon is griping to Lily about Nate before deciding to call Tucker to see if he can get a little bit of intel. He's hoping to trick information out of Tucker, but yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. Now, after what happened with Nate, Devon will understandably still be wary of Tucker's presence, which is why he's doing what he's doing, especially considering the timing of it all. Now, speaking of Tucker McCall, he has another private meeting with Audra so they can push for a whole new plan. Now, Audra talk about their original one, which involved getting Devon to merge his shares with Tucker for controlling majority. But with the IPO possibly not happening, Audra suggests a hostile takeover is the only other option. Now, Tucker and Devon will be the only people worthy of running Catherine Chancellor's company as far as Tucker is concerned. So he urges Audra, you need to figure something out. Now, over at Society, Chance shows up and bring Abby a bouquet of flowers, and he's pushing for a night over at Noah's new nightclub. Now, they go back and forth a little bit because she's talking about how, you know, everything at, at the job is imploding and something happened in the kitchen, and they try to find a different night that works for both of them, but ultimately, Abby gives in. She finally bails off on work and decided to have some fun with Chan. So they definitely need this after them acting like two ships in the night because with him being a cop on stakeout and her running the business, it hasn't been that easy. So over at the Glam Club, Noah sensed that Nate could use someone to talk to. However, Nate don't want to talk to nobody. He's not interested in opening up at all. Now, after Nate pushed Noah away, Noah reflects now on an argument that he had with Audra back in London. Now, back over to Nate, while he's sulking in his miseries, he pull out his phone, pulls up Elena in his contacts, wanted to call her, but decided against it because, yeah, he know that there's probably no coming back when it comes to Elena. Now, once Abby and Chance make it to the nightclub, they actually are excited because they missed the grand opening. Noah is happy for them to be there. And of course, he gave them a VIP section seat. However, Abby looks over and notice Nate sitting over in the corner being sad and upset. But, you know, she wanted to talk to him. Of course, Chance was like, well, I don't know. Noah told him, nah, he's not feeling like talking. So they got back together with their date. And so they're pretty much trying to enjoy the evening until... Tucker McCall comes in and you know Abby is not happy. She is seething over Tucker's threat to see her son, which is also his grandson. And of course, Chance is trying to say, yeah, you know, you're overreacting. She's explaining why she isn't. And then Devon comes in. Devon spots Nate. And yeah, the, Nate is like, you know what, it's time for me to leave. The crazy thing is, as he was trying to walk out the door, Devon should have let him leave, but he stopped him, talking about, well, you don't have to leave on my account. Well, it ended up in a fierce face-off between these two, and they were going back and forth, and, you know, Abby thinks that she should be the one to try to calm them down. And I'm like, really? This ain't got nothing to do with you. And like Chance said, you know, hey, Abby, I think this is all about business. Let them figure it out. So Chance decides to, you know, get her back on track, but she's still 
trying to worry about them. So Chance is like, you know what, let me handle it. So he decided to go over there and come in between both Devon and Nate to calm the whole situation down. And Tucker is in the background looking at his phone like nothing going on. So finally, he calmed the two of them down. Nate decided that he had to have the last word and he took off. So after Chance got everything back on track, he once again tried to get back on track with Abby. But while Tucker and Devon is having a conversation, she's still trying to eavesdrop and glare over at Tucker's direction. Abby even assumed that Tucker is the one to blame for Devon and Nate whole fight. So at least she think because he did nothing to help. Meanwhile, Devon is smoothing everything over after his last angry visit with Tucker over at his suite. Now, Tucker accepts Devon's offer to come over and meet Dominic at his penthouse this weekend. Devon eventually discussed Nate's unforgivable betrayal and acts horrified that a family member could even do something like this. Now, once Devon brings up Nate's view of Neil and how nobody can measure up, Tucker suggests that Devon should think long and hard about that. Maybe there's some merit to that. And if there is any truth to Nate's concerns, Tucker advises that Devon should fix that problem before it leads to, you know, the downfall of Chancellor Winters. And Devon's look on his face was like, what? Why are you concerned about that? But you know what? Obviously, he knows something going on. And of course, Abby just cannot let it go. She finally has a date night with her husband. And she just can't help herself. She's all up in the business. She's worried about what Devon and, and Tucker are talking about, especially if it has something to do with Dominic. And Hey, you know, her husband is like, look, just let it ride. Let's enjoy our evening. We barely get a night out. We got a new baby. We got a, you got a business. I got to work the streets as an officer here. Take this menu. Let's order some food and enjoy the rest of the evening. So it looks like Abby decided to uh, calm down and uh, maybe not. Because as soon as Chance thought she was, she was right back over there looking at him. So now over at the coffee house, Audra bumps into Lily and warn her, trust no one when it comes to this IPO. Now, Lily counters that, hey, wait a minute, I trust Devon. But Audra acts like, you know what, when it comes to money and power, it can bring out the worst in people. However, Audra also point out that most companies don't regret going public, so she won't think, you know, Nate's actions should rob Lily at this whole chance of success. But listen to her words, Lily. She said, trust no one. That includes her as well. Now, once Lily leaves, Nate shows up and express surprise when Aunt Audra isn't angry at him. Now, Audra, she said she don't condone what Nate did, but she give him points for creativity and act like that, you know, him doing that is him taking big chances. That sounds like Amani's line. Now, Nate ends up hinting about Devon letting family get in the way of business. So Audra kind of wonder what he means by that. And since Nate thinks that, eh, I don't know, spilling too much to outsiders got me in this mess in the first place, he declines to repeat that mistake. And this is where he decides to take off. So, yeah, this looks like this is going to get even worse. There's another heated encounter between Nate Devon coming up. And as for Audra, Chancellor Winter thinks they got rid of one mole where there's a bigger one right under their nose. So we got to see how this all unfolds. Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless recap for Monday, October 21st, 2022. If you haven't checked out the Bold and the Beautiful recap also for today, it has been uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Bye.